everyone. It's Patty from the studio. It's been a rainy day here in New York, hence the hair curling is getting a little out of control. I'd like to still blame the pandemic on not getting my hair cut or colored in quite a while. And actually right now it's just pretty much laziness. So hopefully now that the weather's getting better. Anyway, I digress. I went back to my local church thrift shop. They were still having a 50% off sale. So I challenged myself with a budget. Normally I pay attention to what I'm buying, but today I was like 10 bucks. That's all I'm going to spend. And I want to kind of concentrate on Easter and spring and just something very special. But I, my goal is to spend 10 bucks or less. And uh, I think I accomplished that. So why don't we check out my haul and see what I picked up. And thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, notify, hit the bell. Let me know what you want to see, what you like, what you enjoy, what you hate, maybe. That's okay. I can take it. So let's get hauling. So here are the goodies from today's $10 thrift shop adventure. So let's walk through and talk about what I got. And again, like I said in my intro, I was kind of focusing on Easter, spring, really um, special things, and my budget was 10 bucks. Did I spend my budget or did I go over my budget? Let's see. First thing I thought was amazing is this wire basket with these kind of foiled iridescent eggs. Now, Pier 1, which is unfortunately no more, Original retail of each egg was three dollars. There were nine and then this basket, which I'm not sure if this was also from Pier One, but I thought just for overall spring or Easter display, it's a nice piece. And I thought, well, eight dollars, it will be four. And the lady at the thrift shop said, oh, no, that's a mistake. That's supposed to be four. So I said, this whole thing is for $2, the price of one of these eggs at full price. That's correct. So I grabbed that and put it in my cart before anybody noticed the mistake. But she said, no, 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 that's too much. So I feel a little bad sometimes, but it's all good. So that was a nice score for two bucks. I think that's going to do very well. Then these little bunny rabbit salt and peppers were a dollar fifty for the pair so um, 75 cents duh my math is bad no three dollars for the pair oh I don't remember it was a dollar fifty for the pair and half off they're not they're made in China they still actually have salt and pepper in them so I have to clean those out but they almost had like an anthropology vibe and they're in this like pretty pale lilac glaze. So I picked those up. And then this is just a little lovebirds in a nest. And they're ceramic. And they're from Kate Aspen. And I've sold um, other things of hers. Not necessarily vintage, but it is a name that's recognizable. And I thought for a quarter... They also are just really cute in the box. There's some damage on the box, which I'll note. Um, but I think they're really cute. We're continuing with the animal theme. I love blue and white, and I love turtles. So I saw these, and I couldn't grab them up fast enough. I got them total of $2. Just a very pretty Asian motif ceramic turtle. I think it's hand-painted. Can't tell where it's from or if they have any age to them. But I thought they were really cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them as a pair. Because they don't really need to be a pair. So I might sell them like a quantity. So you can, you know, it'll be sold as one with a quantity of two available. I think that's my how I might do it. Sticking with the Asian theme these beautiful teacups they were 50 cents each so the total came to a dollar and they're marked mci japan 
probably an importer. But I just thought they were really pretty, and I like when I can get things in four. And they all have the same design. Pretty bird. There's some crackling, crazing, I mean, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's not chipped, it's just crazing from age. And then these little cereal or soup bowls, dollar each. So I got them for a dollar total. And they're marked on the bottom USA. So these are vintage USA pottery. They have a nice kind of ridge shape with, I guess, leaves or floral pattern. Very good condition. I thought they were an unusual shape. And I guess they can be soup or cereal. And uh, so I'm going to have to do research and see if I can find out the maker of those. And then I got this folk art angel. I can't tell if it's like a homemade craft project or if it was manufactured. Her head is loose, but that's an easy fix. And the base is like a paper towel holder you know, the roll. So I think this might be a homemade crafty project, but I thought it was really pretty and would make a nice display. So just a little glue and she will be good to go. Again, she came to a dollar. Then I got this book, golden book, not terribly old, but still golden book is a good name. And it's by Margaret Wise Brown, who wrote Goodnight Moon, which, as you know, is a huge kid's book. And it's called The Golden Egg Book. I just loved even the illustration on the cover. And actually, I got this for free. So that's always good. And again, nice Easter motif. Pretty illustrations. Good condition. So I liked this a lot. And all of these Easter themed items I'm going to be posting very soon, obviously to capitalize on the fact that Easter is coming. And then finally, this print. I haven't, un, you know, opened up the back. I'm pretty sure it's a print. You can kind of tell it's on paper. I don't see any signature, but again, the mat, the mat might be covering it, so I need to investigate it a little more. But again, for Easter time, I, it looked very vintagey to me, even if it's not. And the bird and the bunny with the flowers and the Easter basket. So what's down here, we shall see under the mat. I thought it was just very pretty. And for 50 cents and it's framed with glass, um, I think he might be popular. So actually my budget was $10. And when I did the math for all of these treasures, my total spend was $9.25. Yes, ma'am. I feel really good about this. I think these will be good. I think the Easter Bunny salt and peppers will go. And overall, I'm just, I'm happy with my budget outcome. So thank you for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, notifications, hit the bell, comments. What do you like? What do you want to see? Etc. And I appreciate you taking a few minutes to hang out with me in the studio. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you.